At 21 years old, Chloe Grace Moretz has already appeared in more than 60 movies and TV Is series. That crazy. Unbelievable. <laughs> what have we been doing? From romantic dramas like If I Stay to comedic turns in big budget movies like Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. Chloe's latest film is called The Miseducation of Cameron Post. It's set in the early 90s. It's about a teenage girl sent to a gay conversion therapy center. Look at you with all of your acting credits. So this script comes across your desk and yeah. you look at it. What made you say, yeah? I think I'm interested in that. Well, a couple things. First and foremost, I took a little bit of a break about a year and a half ago to, to kind of reconfigure my career and figure out who I wanted to be as a young adult, you know, being 21 now. I wanted to kind of put out content that felt close and personal to me. And I have two gay brothers in my family. Mm -hmm. So I've always been a big advocate for the LGBT community. Um, and this came across my, uh, my desk. And, and really what hit me the most was... It was probably one of the most adequate depictions of gay youth that I've seen. Mm. The interpersonal relationships of meeting other gay kids, like yourself, for the very first time. And not focusing on the negativity and the darkness so much, but more how much of a revelation it is to realize that you're not alone. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. So you, when you take this break and you find a script like this that means so much, yeah. was mm -hmm. it like, thank you, like this is what I've been looking for? Yeah, it was... You know, I, I, like you guys said, I've made over 60 films, but for me, this would, I, I would say this is the most prolific movie for my wow. heart and my, my family. Mm. And I've never felt so proud of something. We made it for $900,000, wow. shot in 23 days. So. You know what's cool about you? I don't know many kids or people your age who would take a break and decide to look inward. I think you yeah. just get on the train yeah. and you say, I'm hot now, yeah, and so exactly. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Were, when you took, like, what kind of epiphanies did you have during that time that you took? So much. I mean, that's kind of the thing is you, you get on this train, yeah. and, and I love acting so much that it's, it's hard to say no, yeah. you know? But then I, I sat back and I was like, well, I'm not... I don't think I'm doing myself justice. I don't think I'm giving myself the credit that I deserve to take a step back and look at what I've done mm -hmm. and also figure out who I want to be now and mm -hmm. what I want to do now. And the epiphanies really came down to connecting to not just having fun, but doing something that fulfills you. Yes. And there's a difference oh, in having fun and feeling fulfilled. Are you our new guru? <laughs> I you think she's Maria our new guru. <laughs> I know. You, and you know what else I think must have been great mm -hmm. is that this one Sundance. I mean, yes. it's something <laughs> that's know. important to you, but it also is Resonated. important to others. Yeah. yeah, and you know, you know, halfway through the film, we had a change in administration, and it became such an important film, at least for me, to to really put out there to society and to see it win Sundance and to see it, you know, have an accolade like that and be coming out very soon. You know, it's something that I feel we currently need well, very, very much. We want to tell you, we're so proud of you and we think you're doing an awesome Thank job. You. And yes. we know you're going to have a lot more projects to come share with Thank us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chloe Grace Moretz, The Miseducation of Cameron Post. It opens in New York on Friday and in select cities on August the 10th. Yeah, Thank you so it. much. It's really good. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.